on now. Come on, let's hear it. No, 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 no. Go on. Go on, Uncle Barry. Your Auntie Helen's the singer, not me. I am not. <laughs> oh, Michelle, then. I swear, Ryan. Sing party sick, no. Liam used to love it. He did indeed, yeah. Again, again, again. And that was when he was 25. <laughs> There's still so much I didn't know about him yet. Well, look, there's no harm in learning about him now, sweetheart. No, he's obviously special to a lot of people. Therefore. Me body is all black and blue, me face a deathly grip, grey and I... And I write this now to say why Paddy's not at work today. I love. How's Ryan? Wants to be on his own. Oh, kid. So I hoisted up and secured the ropes below. In my haste to do the job, I was too blind to see. And a barrel load of building bricks was heavier than me. <laughs> Liz, can I have a large red wine, please? Yes. Good to throw it down yourself. Why would I do that? Oh, I don't know. Just to make sure everyone's looking at you. Now, hang on, hang on, there's more, there's more. So when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead. And clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. I shot up like a rocket, till to my dismay I found that halfway up, I met the bloody barrel coming down. <laughs> like somebody heard this song before. But if you haven't heard it before, then tonight will be the first time. And uh, I might have better introduce it to you. It's about a man called Paddy, like I said, and Paddy had an unfall of an Erbausteller where he was working. And in diesem, in diesem accident, he is very badly verletzt. And because of the injuries, he cannot go to work a Mandarin Tag. So he sends eine Ausrede to his Arbeitsgator and Daimler declared the reason for his Abwesenheit at work. That's what it's about. <laughs> And the letter begins, Dear Sir, like this. Dear Sir, I write this note to you to tell you of me plight. And at the time of writing, I am not a pretty sight. Me body is all black and blue, me face a deathly grey. And I write this note to say, why Paddy's not at work today. While working on the 14th floor, some bricks I had to clear. Now to throw them down from such a height, it was not a good idea. The foreman wasn't very pleased, he being an awkward sod. He said I'd have to take them down the ladders in me hud. Now, clearing all these bricks by hand, it was so very slow. So I hoisted up a barrel and secured the rope below. But in me haste to do the job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. <laughs> so, when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead, and clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. Well, I shot up like a rocket, till to my dismay I found that halfway up, I met the bloody barrel coming down. <laughs> well, the barrel broke me shoulder as to the ground it sped. And when I reached the top, I banged the pulley with me head. While I clung on tight, though numbed with shock from this almighty blow. And the barrel spilled out half the bricks, 14 floors below. Now, when these bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, I then outweighed the barrel and so started down once more. Still clinging tightly to the rope, I sped towards the ground, and I landed on the broken bricks that were all scattered round. Well, I lay there groaning on the ground, I thought I'd passed the worst. When the barrel hit the pulley wheel, and then the bottom burst, well, a shower of bricks rained down on me, I hadn't got a hope. As I lay there moaning on the ground, I let go the bloody rope. The barrel then being heavier, it started down once more and landed right across me as I lay upon the floor. 
Well, it broke three ribs and my left arm, and I can only say that I hope you understand why Paddy's not at work today. (laughs) 